lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. It has felt like the longest time since I said that intro to you guys and it literally feels like months. I know it's been a month but it feels like so much longer and I've had so many amazing messages from you guys checking up on me, making sure I'm okay, just asking me where I've been on my YouTube. I have been a little bit quieter on my other platforms as well but I've definitely been silent on my YouTube. I've not uploaded in just over a month. I thought I would just quickly film a little explanation as to why I've been a little bit distant on my YouTube before we get into today's video because I felt it was a little unfair to just upload a normal video and not kind of give you guys any explanation as to why I've not uploaded. Nothing dramatic has happened and there's not really one whole reason as to why I've not uploaded. I basically just feel like I've had a little bit of a burnout which is completely normal and I've actually seen quite a few other creators feeling the way that I feel recently but I feel like I've had a little bit of a burnout. Basically during the past Last month I have picked up my camera quite a few times and I have filmed three, four, maybe even five videos but I just never got around to editing them. One of the main reasons why I think this is, is so I'm actually going to address this matter on my Instagram tonight so I thought this would be the perfect time to put this into tonight's video. Recently I've not been feeling great. I think that's how I would say it. I've not been feeling fantastic, I've not really been feeling myself. I've picked up the camera, tried to film videos and I just don't like the way I look in the videos. It gets to a point where I'm editing the videos back and I just find it so frustrating because I literally cannot edit the videos back without feeling some kind of way about how I feel and um, how I look, sorry. And it kind of got to a point where I just didn't even want to pick up a camera anymore because I was so self-conscious about the way I looked. I was feeling super insecure uh, about my body, about just, the way, just everything about the way I look and that's just played a huge factor into why I've not been able to film a video for you guys. I know it might come across like I'm excusing myself and honestly there is really no excuse as to why I have taken so much time off but I think it was very much needed and I think that's such a positive about being self-employed is I can take as much time as I need away from something if it's making me unhappy. Not that YouTube was making me unhappy, it's just everything I was putting into my content that was making me unhappy. I felt like it was really affecting my content, I felt like I was only filming certain videos because of the way I felt. I felt like I was kind of letting my personality slip a little bit. I, as you guys know, like, I love, like, making you guys smile, making you guys laugh, me and Lee, like, making each other laugh, being funny, being silly, doing silly things. And I felt like that really wasn't happening very much in videos recently. That's kind of when I got to a point where I was like, I just need to take a break and kind of figure out what I want to do and how I want to change things. So I took a little bit of time off, unintentionally. I didn't actually turn around to myself and say, let's just take some time off I, it kind of just happened the weeks kind of went really fast and then before I knew it it was literally a whole month before I'd not uploaded and again I know it's not that deep but I just did want to address this matter and I do go into a bit more detail over on my Instagram so I'll pop my Instagram on the screen now if you want to go over there and look at the post that I have posted tonight and that's where I kind of give a little bit of a more in-depth detail explanation as to how I've been feeling. Another reason why I've not really been uploading on my YouTube is just because I've been feeling super demotivated. Now I can't help but feel that the way I've been feeling recently has a massive impact on my motivation. I feel like I've been feeling slightly demotivated just in my day-to-day -day life so it wasn't a surprise to me that I was feeling demotivated with my social media as well. I think I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to put out certain types of content for you guys. I wanted all of the content that I was putting out on my social media to be at a certain quality and sometimes I feel like I was setting this unrealistic expectation for myself and it was getting really really difficult. I was watching videos back and just deciding they weren't good enough to go on my YouTube and just scrapping the whole video that I'd spent hours filming and I feel like I just got into a headspace where everything was stressing me out, everything was getting on top of me, everything was overwhelming and I think I definitely needed this break. Now I'm not sitting here and saying that I feel back to normal. I don't feel back to normal at all. I still feel demotivated. I still feel like I'm struggling a little bit about my self image and editing and things like that. Like I am still struggling but I feel like everyone goes through rough patches especially with the mental health. I'm not going to drone on too much because I don't want to put a downer on this video but if you guys want me to address it a little bit more I will be more than happy to do like a QA and a style video. Basically just to wrap everything up I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to give you guys a bit of an explanation as to how I've been feeling but I'm back. I'm trying 
try my best to get back into a routine with my uploads on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. I'm also going to try and upload some shorts for you guys in between my YouTube uploads. But I hope that you guys do enjoy this video. I feel like it's a bit more of an uplifting video to the video I was originally going to put out because I filmed this explanation video literally three times and it just doesn't feel right. So I thought I'm just going to give a really quick explanation as to how I feel rather than droning on for minutes and minutes and minutes. So I want to be transparent with you guys. I want to be honest with you guys. And I do hope that you do enjoy this video. Thank you so much for being so patient with me and for all of your lovely messages, just checking up on me and making sure I'm okay. It's just one of those hurdles that you have to get over and I'm just trying my best now to switch it around for myself because it's just been too long that I've been feeling this way and I'm really excited and I'm happy to be getting back into this routine. But I do hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get into week week one, day one of Malaga. Hey everyone, I'm just gonna quickly interrupt this video to say a massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you guys will have heard me rave about HelloFresh so many times in recent videos. I just love HelloFresh so much and I use it all the time, so I thought I would pop on and speak to you guys a little bit about what HelloFresh do. If you guys are unaware as to what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a food delivery service that delivers seasonal fresh ingredients straight to your doorstep. The basic concept of HelloFresh is that you receive ingredients ingredients to prepare fresh meals with really good ingredients. Honestly, these meals taste amazing. I am literally about to run to the airport. I know that sounds really crazy. I'm not running to the airport. I'm driving to the airport, but I need to prepare myself just a super quick meal before I go because I know that I won't really eat anything in the airport. So I thought this is the perfect time to film a little HelloFresh cook with me as the meals are really easy to prepare. Everything is weighed out for you. Everything is ready to go. It is a super quick and easy way to prepare a very delicious meal but it also leaves like no cleanup so it doesn't make much of a mess you literally just have to put everything that you use straight in the dishwasher or you just have to wash them up it's super easy there is also so many different categories of meals that you can get you can get meals that are calorie specific you can get meals that are vegan there is also a section for meals that don't take very long to cook if you're in a rush and you know that you need to cook meals very quickly there is a section for that as well if you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh I have a code for you guys to get you a great deal. You can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next two months worth of boxes with this code down below. There will also be a link in the description if you guys want to head over. Check HelloFresh out for yourself. Have a look at some of the recipes. The recipe that I'm going to be making today, I have already tried and I love it so much. Um, I do love cooking. I really do enjoy cooking, but when I'm in a rush and I've got things to do, HelloFresh really helps me out with that. So when you receive your HelloFresh box, everything comes in a little labeled brown bag with a number on it. The numbers line up to these little ingredient cards. You've got all the ingredients on the side there and then a step-to-step -step guide on how to prepare the meal. Honestly, I feel like a good meal sets you off for traveling. So I am so excited to eat this because I'm so hungry. So let's prepare the meal together and I will see you once it's prepared. product honestly it looks and smells so delicious one of my favorite things on the hellofresh website is actually the hellofresh wedges i love hellofresh wedges so i'm gonna eat this now and then i literally need to run to the airport because i am really late already i'm gonna give you guys a really quick taste test i know usually i sit down and lee tries it and everything but lee's been a little bit under the weather haven't you yeah um so it's just me trying it today but here we go are we ready the halloumi burger Mmm. Good stuff. That's really nice. Do you reckon you can bring that to the airport with you? Probably not, but I wish I could. I just want to again say a massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you guys do want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next two months worth of boxes using this code. I do honestly highly recommend checking these guys out. I use them all the time, mainly love their recipes. Thank you so much guys and let's get on with the video. What's up? You seem a bit scared. Are you scared of flying? Me. <laughs> 
We are in Malaga. Woo, 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 woo. We are officially on holiday, guys. I'm talking quiet because it's literally silent. But we have just touched down in Malaga. I am so excited. Are you excited? No. We are now going to pick up a car. So wish us luck. Let's go see what car we've got, shall we? I am not driving. He is. Uh, also, what? You They're look gonna... like a mess. I do. I do look like a mess. We're just waiting for a shuttle bus, aren't we? Yeah. Lee's a little bit stressed. Oh, I don't look good. Uh, the issue we're having is we didn't... Yes, she does. The issue we're having is we didn't actually read the instructions very well. So, obviously, at first, we got a little bit lost, but that's fine because that sometimes happens when you go on holiday. But we're all sorted now. We're just waiting for our shuttle bus to pick us up to take us to our car, which I think is really efficient because... We literally get dropped off at the car. And what car are we having again? I think it said a Nissan Micra or something like a Nissan Micra. Also guys, it is so warm. Oh my gosh, it's currently 20 to nine. So what's that, 20 to eight at home? Yeah. I said to Lee, I was like, we need to be in the hotel in time to watch the first episode of Love Island. Cause obviously I want to see Molly enter the villa. But it's so warm to say it's 20 to nine, isn't it? It's yeah. like sticky warm. But we have got um, jumpers on. Oh grey shuttle bus. But you look so worried for. Oh, no, I'm relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to pick up our car, haven't we? Who knows which one it's going to be? No idea. What no. car would you want? Like T Rock. Really? Yeah. I think it says on our thing, doesn't it, what we get? Yeah, but that's if they've got it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Lee is a very happy bunny right now. Before we landed, I said, I really hope this car's an automatic. It is. A point of saying I wanted that T Rock. It's not a T Rock. It's an Audi Q2 S line. I'm gonna be whipping. <laughs> <laughs> well then, guys, me and Lee never argue. We have argued more in the space of five minutes of being in this vehicle than we have ever done in six years of being together. Please, can you get over a tiny bit more? <laughs> he doesn't know how to drive on the other side of the road, which I know you guys are probably gonna be thinking like that is not reassuring whatsoever. But obviously it's his first time driving in a different country. Everything's on the other side of the car and it's also his first time driving an automatic. So it's the first time for everything today. We've ended up with a really, really, really nice car, which is amazing, but it's also very scary because we have to take care of this car the whole time we're in Malaga. I got you in that right lane to get in first exit. Yeah, Tessa. Tessa, all right, take your time. I've kind of just told him to just follow cars because, but I'm a bit worried as to when we get to a road where there's no cars. <laughs> Fingers crossed the weather forecast is wrong and we're gonna have really nice weather because it is really warm. I was literally sweating so bad in the car rental place. Also, it's giving like weird, it's giving us kilometers and not miles per hour. So we're, we're going a little bit slow just in case. You look so nervous. I'm scared, but it's so fun. We just really struggled to find the hotel and we didn't actually like get into our room till like half past ten and we were just absolutely knackered. The issue that we were having is basically the streets where we're staying are so narrow and basically we were panicking that we couldn't get the car down and um, so we just had to like abandon the car and walk to the hotel which was interesting but um we spoke to the hotel owner and she said that she drives an suv and she manages to get down the streets it's just a normal thing here but it's currently nine is it nine a.m mm -hmm. it's currently nearly nine a.m also the cue sticks in the bathroom it's currently nearly nine a.m and the hotel host has suggested a place for us for, to go for breakfast basically because we're in like a self-catering um it's like a 
I don't know how to describe it. It's like a hotel, but it's kind of like an Airbnb kind of thing. But yeah, it's self-catering, so we're gonna go out and get, I think, some croissants or something like that for breakfast. Um, and we've had a little look on maps, and I've also had a little bit of research on TikTok. I feel like TikTok's like the new Google these days. We don't really have that long here, so we're trying to make the best out of the days that we have. But we think we found like a beach club that is not far, it's like 20 minutes. Um, so I think we're going to go and have a day on the beach because we've not been on holiday together in a while. Not a holiday like this anyway. So I kind of at least want to have one day that we just sit and chill and sunbathe. And I'd like to do it on a beach. Um, oh, we watched Love Island last night as well. Because obviously Molly is in the Love Island villa. Which is super exciting. Oh my gosh, it was just so exciting. Um, and really surreal to see her on TV. Um, but she did amazing and it was so funny. And she was just so herself. Amazing, love her so much. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you once I'm ready and we're heading for breakfast. Oh my gosh, guys, can you believe? It's a little bit chilly this morning, isn't it? It's like a little bit breezy. Yeah, my top's creased. Lee won't live it down because basically he wants us to get a shower and iron his clothes and everything and all I want to do is just go and get a pastry like it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't like going out with crease tops yeah, and but like no one screw knows up. you so. But yeah, I, can... I do. All right everyone so we've walked down into like the little village area where we're staying and um, we did find like quite a couple of lovely bakeries but we've just had like a walk around haven't we and we've decided to go back to the hotel get ready and we're just going to go straight to the beach club because the bakeries looked really lovely but i don't know what it is this morning i just don't fancy anything sweet for breakfast so i've literally wasted our time it was nice to get out and see the village area because we didn't really see much of it yesterday because obviously we was driving through it trying to find our hotel but i think tomorrow maybe we'll be able to have a bit more time to come out and explore <laughs> I did it. I drove on the motorway. Oh my gosh. How happy are you to be at a beach? I want to swim in the sea, but I think it's a bit I cold. No, I think it's like blue. We have finally arrived at the beach. We do need to find the beach club that we're going to, but we just thought, right, to save any stress parking up, let's just find the first parking spot we can find and head straight to the beach. Really need something to eat and I need a cold cook. I feel like you've not got to pay. I don't understand parking in Spain, so if I am avoiding parking fines, cuff me up. So we have arrived at the beach club. It is honestly gorgeous. The weather is lovely as well. I'm looking a little bit pale right now, so I'm going to get my tan on. I'm going to put some sun cream on, obviously. Always stay safe in the kit. In the kids. <laughs> Always stay safe in the sun, kids. The sea is looking a little rough. Um, so I'm not sure if we're gonna go in the sea. We might paddle our feet. We're gonna have something to eat and then we're gonna just chill. I feel like we need this. I feel like we need just a chill. Yeah. But I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we're at the La... How would you say it? La Pala. La Pala pa. We're at the... I'll pop a picture on the screen as to where we are. There's like a row of beach clubs on the beach and it's gorgeous. And the water is gorgeous as well. Like it's a really nice blue colour. So hopefully it calms down a bit and we can go into the sea, but... I'm loving it. And also, we can watch the aeroplanes going over. There we are. Having a great time, guys. Having a fantastic time. We've just ordered food and this has arrived. And how insane does this look? We ordered burgers. I don't usually order burgers. I usually go for something a little bit more exotic, but I just kind of just fancied something simple and effective, if that makes sense. I've got some chips with it. I think this is ketchup. I'm hoping it's ketchup. Are you happy? Yeah, he's got a plain burger, which he's really happy about. Dip in the pool. A bit cold, Trip love. To the bar. Oh. Ah. Like looking at beer, watch this is. Look at that lovely sunburnt back. Wowie, she's like a lobster, this human. Yeah. That's not a good idea. Do you think I look like Pamela Anderson? Well, yeah, this is the sea. <laughs> if you've ever, never seen it before. It comes in waves and goes back out. And it tastes like salt. 
Someone spilled some salt in there. Happy siesta time, everyone. It is currently 5 pm. It is classed as the end of siesta. So we've come away from the beach and we're now heading into a supermarket called Suma. Called Suma, the supermarket. Because we're going to go buy some towels because we did actually forget towels. And um, I also want to top myself up on Coca Cola. <laughs> I've just drank loads of it today and I think I'm a little bit dehydrated and nothing beats a Coca-Cola in the red hot sun. I feel like I've really caught the sun oh, today. That's what I'll have for my tea. Kebab? A duty kebab. Oh. oh, okay. Let's go in the supermarket and see what we can find. Can you even come on holiday without buying? Fanta limon. Fanta limon. I actually can't believe I'm saying this. Also, I can't believe that I'm stood in front of you in a bikini right now, but Am I tanned? Oh my god. Wait, how the hell is my back tanned? I literally have been laid on a sunbed all day. I've never tanned like this on holiday, ever. In my entire life, I've never ever tanned on the first day of holiday. Usually I only tan like, like usually I come home looking like this. And it's not even like we weren't, we weren't like really, also this is our room guys. I didn't want to give you too much of a room tour right now because it's a bit of a mess, but it is a really, really gorgeous room. What was I going to say then? I can't remember what I was going to say. Sorry about tanning. You've not really tanned that much. I thought you'd tan. No, you've tanned, but I think I've actually caught the sun more than you, which is... What did you catch it with? <laughs> but I am shocked. Also, I had like the world's biggest burger for lunch. Um, I took a photo with my rolls out, guys. Because you know what? Rolls are so normal. This is like the little communal living area with Ellie right there. And then out there is the pool that we're gonna go and have a little swim in. I think someone might be a little bit cold in this pool. Wash yourself on your belly and then get in. There you go, go on, do it. It's a very cold pool, everyone. No, it's not. Oh, cold I can't touch the pool. The fact that we decided to clean the pool at 7 pm. Yeah, it's very, it's very late now, and the temperature has dropped a lot. Oh, we're in the pool. Look at everyone. What's swimming about? Howdy, partners. Uh, it is currently, currently. Why do I literally start every clip saying it is currently? Ten to eight. It's ten to eight. We are now ready to go out for our first meal of the whole holiday. Also, I'm just going to address this. I have drunken, drunken. I've drank so much Coca-Cola today. I feel like it's really made my teeth yellow, which I'm a little bit self-conscious about. So let's not point that out, shall we? Oh, word vomit. Um, so we are ready to go out. We've gone a little bit matchy matchy. We've actually just filmed a outfit of the evening for TikTok. We've branched out, ladies and gents. We've branched out. Uh, I don't know where this energy's come from because I think I've got sunstroke, which is great. Um, my feet are so swollen, guys, and they hurt when I walk and. And my shoes are rubbing me. I just can't. It's it's crazy up here. We're actually gonna head back to Torremolinos and just explore Torremolinos and get something to eat there. And then we've decided because we're such a cute couple, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but we've decided to sit on the beach and watch the sunset together because we've never actually done that. By the time we get there and eat now, we might miss the sunset. Probably, unless we can find somewhere on the beach that you can eat and watch the sunset. But. Yeah, anyway. It's a cinematic. Mm -hmm. Cinematic, so I'll do a nice walk. Okay. Back in the car. We're back in the car. We're heading back to Torremolinos. We were just discussing that tomorrow it does look like it's going to be a little bit cloudy, but it did say it was going to be cloudy today and it's been really warm and sunny so we're fingers crossed it's going to give us a little bit of sun but we've decided that tomorrow the potential day out is going to be Marbella we're actually 40 minutes from Marbella one 
really fantastic thing about Malaga and our current location is we're super close to like all surrounding areas and um, so we kind of want to like explore as many as we can and um, so we're potentially gonna do Marbella tomorrow and we did discuss the potential of doing like two places in one day didn't we we've got a little bit more comfortable with our area now and we've had a little bit of a drive around we've seemed to have found a few places for breakfast in the morning so fingers crossed we're gonna have a bit more luck with breakfast in the morning but if not we've got some like cookies and things I know that's not exactly the most healthiest of breakfast but we've got some things at the hotel that we can have so um yeah that's you guys caught up to speed I don't actually know what I fancy for tea like do you fancy pasta or no idea I don't see know what, what I, yeah we're gonna have to see what there is we'll probably end up with a McDonald's or something but I can guarantee Lee will probably end up with another burger I don't want anything that's gonna upset my little yeah, boy again. He had his lunch earlier and it was so nice and it was like one of the best burgers I've ever had. I've had a couple of messages asking me where the beach club is. I will pop a picture on the screen now of the beach club name and the location because I'm not too sure myself, I just need to double check. But it was such a beautiful beach club. On that strip of beach, I think it was called, I think it was called, is it called La Lapa Lapa Beach or something like that. Somewhere in Torremolinos, somewhere very close to Torremolinos. We was very, very pleasantly surprised by the price of everything um, because we were racking up that bill accidentally. I was ordering Coca-Cola after Coca-Cola after Coca-Cola and also we had a smoothie each and they were the nicest smoothies ever, weren't they? They were so yeah. nice. We got a burger and fries each. <laughs> oh, she slotted out. <laughs> Just and we got about three cooks each maybe three cooks each two waters each and a smoothie each and it only came to 60 euros which i just think is amazing because at home that would have been so expensive but i'm gonna leave you with that because i've rambled on a little bit too much um and i'm gonna go wipe my nose um but yeah it is such a beautiful area let's go see what we can find for tea we're just gonna have a look at like the menus outside the restaurants and see what we fancy because i've just googled there's a really really nice one over there and i've just googled it but it's sushi and i would have sushi but Lee wouldn't. I wouldn't. Also, with Lee just having food poisoning, I don't think it's worth the risk. We have found our restaurant, and it turns out, guys, it is the restaurant we were talking about, but there's two different ones. There's a sushi one, and then there's this one that is like pasta and burgers and things like that. So we're just gonna do this because it's quick, easy. It's on literally on the beach, and we're literally parked over there. So we're gonna have some food, aren't we? And then yeah. hopefully it like stops rain. Well, it's not raining I'm too bad. I'm having an ice cream. He's having an ice cream. There's literally an ice cream bar across the road as well. Hey everyone, so my face is so sweaty and oily right now, it's disgusting. Um, but we have just had a very, very lovely meal in Tiki. Does it have a name on the side? Can you see? Um, Tiki. It's called Tiki, basically. There's a few Tiki restaurants in Torremolinos and they're like all different types of food. We went to like the more Italian style food. So it had like pastas and pizzas and things like that. We were gonna go for a little explore around Torremolinos. However, we're both so tired. I think it's the sea air today and we're just knackered, aren't we? Yeah, I'm so tired. We're so tired, so we're deciding to go home, stick on Love Island, watch our girl Molly. But we're gonna come back here tomorrow night and explore all of the strip. So don't worry guys, we will definitely show you all of Tor Torum, bleh, can't even say the word, Torumalinos, um, because it's so beautiful here and it's very lively and there's a lot of things to do as well. So we'll definitely be coming back here um, and the food was delicious and also very affordable. But we're just flat out tired and we just wanna go home, get in bed and watch some Love Island.